Hello, everyone. And welcome to Saturday. Yes, welcome oh. to Saturday. What's on Saturday? It's Saturday, man. I've the, the weekend. What day? 17th? Saturday 17th. 17th. I hope Christmas is a week from today. Don't tell me that. It stresses me out. I think I'm done with gift shopping, which is a shock because usually I'm at the point where I'm like running around frantic, just trying to like grab anything I can wrap in a box. I am very close, like very, very, very close. But the stuff I do have is already wrapped and it's already all like ready to go. So I do feel quite prepared, but there's still like a couple things that I need to like finish up. But like Debbie and I said last week, we host Christmas Eve over at this house and this is a house full of five people and now four and a lot people of things resell. And two dogs. So, a lot of cleaning will be taking place in the next week. So, yes. if, if we seem busy or unresponsive on Instagram or something, we're That's probably That's why. Yeah. I feel like I've been busy and unresponsive on Instagram for the past, like, six months. <laughs> That's okay. But Ryan has a break coming up because he's a teacher. Oh, so. so I, Monday, Tuesday of next week are the only two days, and I only work Monday because I have my free there. And yes. then after that... Sign R. <laughs> Speaking of next week, so next week we're going to be doing a regular thrift with us. That's going to be Ryan and I. No Debbie. Unfortunately, no Evan either. No, sorry. It's going to be Ryan and I. It's going to be like the Just good us. old classic days. And it is Ben's thrift with us. And then we're going to be doing a haul on Thursday of the stuff that we find at the bins. Mm -hmm. And then usual what's on Saturday. And then next week... We are going to be doing a bolo of like glitz and glam, shabam, like It'll New so Year's clothing and New Year's Eve sparkly, glittery, all that kind of stuff. Just kind of like to be festive, really. Yeah. But they're really good brands. I already have most of them picked out. And usually we're very like a category. But yes. this one's more kind of like a, open. We can open her up a little bit. Yeah. Those are some fun brands. So I'm excited for that. I'm very Anyways, excited. today is What's Sold Saturday. So, of course, we have to kick off What's Sold Saturday with our Valentine VIP. Da -da -da -da. Which, thank you, everyone that left names that we should give to the Valentine, like, pick of the week. I saw Valentine Valedictorian, which I like. And then Valentine VIP, I really liked. There were, like, a the bunch Valentine of good ones. Valentine Valedictorian. I do like that one. That's Y'all are much more clever than I am, clearly. But the Valentine... Valentine VIP of the week is ba -ba -ba -ba. Laura. Laura. Laura Ann. Oh, that's Laura cute. Ann. Thanks, Laura. I hope she's southern. Laura Ann. Laura Ann. Laura now, Ann. Laura Ann, you better knock that out. <laughs> <laughs> this is Laura's closet. Her closet is at Laura underscore Ann underscore Posh. Quite easy, peasy, easy, lemon, to, squeezy. Quite easy to find. We will have her linked below. Everyone, just go say hello. Share all her stuff. Yeah. Show her some love. And we appreciate you, Laura, for being a Valentine. We appreciate that Thank very you. much. Anyways, on to the sales. So today, I'm just going to be talking about Posh. I didn't really have much happen on any other platforms i think i had a I... few on mercari but like nothing too crazy my posh has been like pfft, like absolutely completely kaputs for like weeks my depop comma however has been where all my money is so i'm like definitely less energized to put any work into poshmark right now i think it just reflects on the amount of effort you're putting into the two well and like so you know, yeah i was sourcing. gonna say like all of the things i've been sourcing have been through my little like depop lens and it's been paying off which is yeah. great oh but i will say so somebody on the depop video commented and then sent me an, a dm on instagram and was like well how do you know what's gonna sell so to like help with that i included all of my depop likes in my screenshots so when you see what i sold you can see how many people liked it okay to say, like, <laughs> that was really popular. Like, like what should I cross-post the Depops? Like, you so, in see, other like, words, what you're saying is your screenshots will have likes included. Yes. Okay. So, you can so see, you will like, see the amount of likes that yes. Ryan's things had. Yes. Anyways. That was moving like, on to the actual sales week. So, this is the week of the 10th through the 16th. And on the 10th, I had two sales. I had two Poshmark, three Poshmark, and two Depop. I will say, get ready. I do have a very, very, very interesting sale. Oh, in Lord. Week. Yes, you do. So really good one but it's not something that you're gonna be expecting anyways my first sale was this lily pulitzer eleonora silk jewel embellished dress fisted so freaking good and last week i had sold that tank top that i mm -hmm. found with this they were both xl and i think they were both very very modern were lily pieces frames? yeah i feel like you never find lily much in the no bins anymore. or it's bad except her little like cookbook <laughs> i sold the two really really quick so i guess maybe with lily if you find very current stuff it can still do really good i yeah. also think that it's xl i don't feel like you see that much with lily pulitzer so that probably helped as well but this sold for a hundred dollars and i get 80 
And again, like, there were a lot of likes. And my second sale in the tent was this Fry pair of leather shin-high riding western boots sold for 85 and I get 68 which nice. is great. The usual Fry situation where they just Nobody sit around. Nobody pays any attention and the there's no them. likes, no questions, no comments. And then you get an offer that's like not bad. Okay, my first on the 10th is a little disappointing. Free People Gray Academia Y2K Vintage Midi Skirt sold for $12. I make $9.05. <sighs> Yay. Then I sold this vintage 80s black short sleeve biker t-shirt. It was like a biker charity and it said hogs for dogs. Hmm. And it was like a little like veterinary like charity thing. It was so cute. So for 20 bucks, I make 16. And then Miss Glamma popped into my closet and bought herself an adorable little bundle of this really cute DKNY vintage rainbow logo teal notched little t-shirt and this really soft Florida Night Cruise gray lace trim robe. She got the bundle for 60 bucks and I make 48. Thank you, Glamma. Much appreciated. And then on the 10th, I, on Depop, I sold this vintage 90s Y2K, a Barbie core, a baby doll, pink floral slip dress. Sold for 25, 28, somewhere in there. And I make 21, 47. My Depop screenshots don't show me my like gross and net. It only shows me what I make after fees. So, and then I sold this farm girl, simple life. Anytime I find anything that's like quirky Y2K, I'll put simple life, which if you don't remember is the TV show with Paris Hilton and Nicole Bertie when they would go do like regular people jobs. Oh my God, it's so good. <laughs> Y2K farm girl hat. I make 13.89 not for that. On the 11th, I then had two. I had one on Poshmark and one on Depop. My first sale was this Free People Chunky Plush Oversized Sweater. It sold for only $20 and I get 16 and I probably would have liked more, but it just like wasn't getting that much attention and I've had it for like months and months. So <sighs> when I got the offer, I was like, sure. Then, oh, here she this is. is the one that I was talking about before and this is a crazy, crazy sale. I think I'm gonna tell you what it is. You're gonna see the picture and then below- We'll take a guess. Leave a guess. We'll do a guess again. Yeah. I wish we could guess. do like the Instagram thing of like, <laughs> type your answer here. Yeah. That'd be fun. So I sold this Westland Rare Poultry in Motion Disco Chick <laughs> Ceramic Statue. <laughs> it's even like hard to say. Don't call it Poultry in Motion. <laughs> Don't do that to her. Disco Chick. Um, so it's this chicken. <laughs> it's a chicken. Is it a chicken? <laughs> Look at all those chickens. <laughs> the, the vine references are going to leak out of me. I am so sorry. It's this chicken. <laughs> it's just weird to say. And I got it at the turnstile, the consignment the store we talk about all the time. It was like eleven dollars and I looked it up and this is an artist who makes all kinds of poultry in motion, all kinds of chickens that are all like different themes. There's western, there's whatever. Low key though, if this didn't sell, I was like, this would be fun in our kitchen. <laughs> I do to love have the like disco. a little funky The pricing chicken. like comps was all over the board, of course, but it was good no matter what. So it was like a hundred to like four hundred. And I was like, are you kidding me? So I was like, I'll take the risk. This was new with tags. It's I didn't $11. see the disco one anywhere. So it's probably rare. And That's you probably had rare. credit. So you probably didn't even pay anything out of pocket. Yeah. Clothes. So this sold for... No, what's like the chicken version of that? Cluck, 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 it sold for $250. And I would assume this has to be like a Christmas this gift is for somebody's a mother like, or something. Somebody collects chickens chickens <laughs> and uh i will get 200 dollars, and like i said i spent 11.50 praying that it gets to the buyer oh my in gosh one yeah piece. i'm actually shipping it verse if you're i'm there. shipping it this morning and yes you can probably clock that that means i'm quite late with shipping but i've had to like we gather to, like, shipping supplies this. so pray for me and pray for my disco chick please <laughs> and that's it for my 11th my first on the 11th for poshmark was this vintage 80s oversized tacky ugly christmas sweater sold for 30 bucks i make 24 and then on depop i sold this y2k reworked raw ham mini schoolgirl skirt sold for something and i make 29 22 then on the 12th i had three sales I had only Depop sales that day. I only had two. Oh, and it's my favorite Depop sale Ryan's ever it's had. It's a very You'll see good it Depop sale. Mm -hmm. So my first sale was a very, very, very popular item in my closet. And it was this Tunnel Vision pair of rare Terra Black lace-up boot cut <sighs> jeans. I'm shocked these didn't sell This Depop. was in our, like, gothic bolo, like our Halloween bolo list, mm -hmm. Tunnel Vision, I believe. Or it was our pants one. Either way, it was one of the it fall was, ones. I think it was pants. And they're a bolo. They sold for $150. And I get a hundred and twenty. Yeah. They this brand like they make things and they become rare really quick because they don't make much. It's very similar to what's that called? Slow, um, slow fashion. It's they similar to. Like... Uh, 
I don't remember what, what I was gonna reference. But yeah, they don't make a ton. So like as soon as they're gone, like- Oh, like trip? Yeah, trip. There we That's go. It's thinking. in there somewhere. Kind of like that, We gotta yeah. dig that out. So that was doing really, really good on obviously Depop and Posh. I more had Depop in mind when I bought them, but they did good everywhere. I would have put them. Then I sold a bundle to Liana. So Liana. hello, That's Liana. That's my little cousin's name. I know. Little Liana. Hello, Liana, and thank you very much. She purchased a bundle of this adorable Lou and Gray Loft 2021 Oranges printed tank top. <sighs> So cute. Oh, love. And this pair of Ula Johnson Floral Charlie Tassel Joggers. And she got this bundle for $100 and I get 80 And that is such a cute, very like spring, but also like some but, like, warmth to it. Like comfy, bundle. cozy. Yeah, you know? I like that. And my last on the 12th was this Patagonia Cashmere Crew Neck Green Sweater. Sold for $55 and I get 44 Very soft cashmere. So, so cute. Okay, my first on the 12th. It's funny because this went to another town in Minnesota. It's like north of um, Duluth. So I'm just like how fitting. They also got like 80 inches of snow, which is very fitting yeah, for the sweater. Cool. It was this vintage Liz Claiborne cabin core and Tarzia knit graphic sweater. As of today, when I took my screenshot, so this had 775 likes. When it sold, it has since gone down to 671. It sold for $100 plus $12 in shipping because she was a thick sweater. I make $98.99 and I think I got it for $7, $8 at Unique. When he Back came in the home day. with that, he went without me. And when he came home, oh. I was like, if that was my size, that would not it's leave It's such a house. cute sweater. It's no. such and a cute sweater. And that also reminds me, I was supposed to wear my Yeti sweater today. And I totally I'm forgot. Sure. I will wear it this week. It's next week. And then my next on the 12th was this vintage Disney Epcot gray little crew neck sweatshirt. This was weird. I found two of these at two different Vince trips. Oh, like yeah. a week apart. That's I was right. like, oh, okay. Fine. One of them sold pretty quickly. This one kind of hung around for a little bit. I make thirty eleven. Then on the 13th, I had three sales. I, two Depop sales. My first sale was this Madewell ex-boyfriend striped textured flannel jacket. Sold for 24 I get nineteen twenty. I thought that that was really nice. Yeah, then I sold this pair of Spanx Perfect Pant Black Straight. It's my title. Sold for $49. I get thirty nine twenty. I just listed these this week. And I would had them for a while. Mm -hmm. They just had like dust on them and all I had to do was wash them but I just hadn't for so long sometimes things stick around because yeah I get lazy or you just forget about them. yeah or they get buried in something and then they go missing then Lauren popped into my closet so hello Lauren hi Thank Lauren you very much everybody that bought for me is named the same like thing somebody as, as someone very in close. my inner circle yeah, my little like, cousin my best friend yeah that's hysterical she got this Kate Spade glitter sparkle soft piano pouch Lauren, my best friend Mom would buy this too <laughs> Sold for 25, I get 20, so thank you very, very much, Lauren. And that was it for my 13th. My first on the 13th was this pair of Levi's 505 Classic Wash Shorts. I put plus size in the title of these because they were 32. And Depop and plus size, like, oh, God, it's good. It sells so fast. Uh, I make 3049, which is, like, actually pretty good to make for a pair of just, like, regular oh, yeah. cutoffs. Especially Levi's now that, shorts. like, everybody kind of does that. Like I know. These were fun. I liked these. It was this pair of Betsy Johnson Back to School. These were Kid Core. So I marked these as Kid Core in my title. You should have said Mrs. Frizzle. Oh, I think that was one of my hashtags. Honestly, <laughs> like I'm not. Well, I'll, even though we'll she check. was science, but either way, science uses crayons, and I make thirty six dollars off of these. And I think I sold them for forty, and they had a little like forty two dollar sticker on the back. <laughs> <laughs> well, they got two bucks. Huh? I was gonna say she, <laughs> she saved two dollars. Then on the fourteenth, I had seven. I had two Poshmark and one Depop. I don't really know why, but okay. Somebody popped the wall. I saw this J Crew Juliet collarless linen blend cardigan jacket. It sold for sixty one dollars, and I get forty seven oh eight. Those freaking J Crew cardigan blazers are my favorite. They're so nice. I love They're them. So the nice. city coat and the blazer cardigans. Oh, Lululemon men metal vent tech half zip sold for 38 and i get 28 68 i've recently noticed men's lulu is doing like a little better than it used to i think we're getting into that time when everybody's running out of a gift to buy oh, for your like boyfriend maybe. your husband or your dad yeah, it could be timing and they're like ooh. That's nice. Then I sold this pair of Good American Classic Straight Distress Jeans, and those sold for $52. I get $39.88. Good American's been not doing as well for me lately, mm -hmm. so I was really excited to get that sale. Then I sold this pair of Free People Just Chill Striped Relaxed Pants. These were like a recent bins find, like the past couple weeks. That kind of kills me. Sold for $25, and I get $20. Then, this was a new brand to me, and I found two pieces by them. One of the times that I went with Debbie and Evan to the bins, mm -hmm. I gave 
gave Debbie a top and then I kept this dress and now we've both sold the pieces. So it's called Arata Silent Journey is Ooh. the brand name. This is the Alpine Aster Floral Maxi Dress. Sold for 26 and I get 1908, but some people do price it way higher. I just like- Isn't it, it like really expensive? It's Maybe. pretty I have expensive. no idea. I think it's, isn't it TJ Maxx too? I have no idea. The tag doesn't like look expensive and I just like didn't feel like I'd be able to sell it for like 50 or 60. So I was like, no. I'll just do like 35 and see what happens with it. Yeah. Then I love Zaya. I sold this pair of Zaya red leopard high rise leggings. They sold for $30 and I get 24. That's pretty good for a pair of leggings. Oh, Zaya. 30 bucks. Then another one of my favorite J. Crew pieces. I sold this J. Crew wool open red blazer jackets. Any blazers from J. Crew do quite well. So sold for 39 so and good. I get 3120 and that was a size zero, but it's still sold for 39. And that was it for my 14th. Okay, my first on the 14th was a Poshmark sale. It was this pair of Sorrel black leather after hours Sherpa boots. They sold for a hundred dollars. I get 80, that was an amazing dollars. find. I was so That's a really good excited to find both of them in the bins. I think I wanted a coin toss, to be mm. completely honest. Because the one thing that gets snatched up at the bins is Sorrel boots. They just like Everybody, everybody, everybody knows, knows what that. they are. Everybody knows how expensive they are. And everybody wants one up here. Then I saw this pair of Juicy Couture uh, Y2K Red Velour High Rise Sweatpants on Depop. I had these as hashtag simple life. They are always too good. I sold for $28 and I make $22.40. And then on Depop, I sold this vintage 80s equestrian large horse print shirt. So I said something to the effect of like very reminiscent of Hermes prints. Because mm. if you say like it looks like an Hermes print, that's fine. But if you say like Hermes printed, Da, 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 da. Like that's a knockoff. Yeah. I think this person was like kind of going for that like upper echelon equestrian vibe. I would be careful with that though because some places you do can't flag like that. I said like a vintage item reminiscent of like Hermes Still equestrian. Still be careful though because like I don't. It's a little think, fit. I think on eBay and Mercari you cannot no. say those. No, 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 I no. had one time said like a sweater that was like I said like similar to a Dior style. Yeah, and, and eBay was it. like nope. Yeah, nope, eBay's nope. like if you even bring up like if you. <laughs> You even mention something about Mr. like Dior's yeah, name. literally they'll veto it. But G-Pop thankfully is like a little more Chill. lax in terms of like the distinctions. Either way, this sold for twenty eight dollars, and I make twenty one sixty. Then on the fifteenth, I had four. I had two. My first sale was this Anthropology Rare Molly Hatch Eiffel Tower mug, and it sold for thirty dollars for a mug. Cute. And I get 24. But this was some like old artist that they used to have make some of their dinnerware, their hmm. drinkware. And it's like very rare and very expensive now. Then I sold a bundle, and this is a bundle that I really like personally. Hot Topic Sun and Moon printed zip skirt. So cute. Love. Spiritual Gangster Magic Maisie Trust Your Something sweatshirt. The title's cut Trust off. Trust your goods. But it had stars all over it and stuff. Oh, I was like, so that cute. Spiritual Gangster, I do love. So cute. And then Lululemon. 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 We have nothing. Striped V neck button athletic top. And actually, Debbie had this for a while. And then she's like, nah, you can sell it. So I did. That's funny. Sold for 80 for the three things. And I get 64. Then I sold this Pac Sun Yin Yang Sherpa Fleece I hoodie. Have this. And this was just in literally the last video that went up on Debbie's birthday. The, um, Third the hall, place. the bins thing, Third yeah. Place. Sold for 20, I get 16, but like it's Paxson. That's fine, I like, I'll take 20. <laughs> then I sold this pair of Ferragamo logo embossed horse bit leather slide sandals. They sold for 150 and I get 120. I probably could have got more, but it's Ferragamo. They can yeah. be hit, they can be missed. So I was like, I'll take it. Sure. My first on the 15th was this Green Day 90s fitted short sleeve t-shirt. It was from the like Dookie album. I don't know what the name of that was. I think it has American Idiot on it, or if that's a separate album. I don't know no, anything no. about Green Day. I'm sorry. <laughs> sold for $14 and I make $11.05. And then on Depop, I sold this vintage 1950s wool silk blend black top. Sold for somewhere in the $30 range and I make $27.34. I think when you picked that one up, I questioned you. I was like, hmm. Don't I'm ever question me. Uh, don't question. I pick out the good Depop. That's very true. I was saying to Ryan like yesterday, true. I was like, why is it everything you sell on Depop, like this next one, is stuff that it's I It's this cute little eight little word called talent. That means that I have it. I pick it out. Six. Ooh. Well. <laughs> Not no talent here. Oh, and then I had one more. I'm so sorry. God, I'm losing my marbles Earth. today. Okay, I sold this American Apparel white sunflower adorable little shift dress. <laughs> 
Sold for $24, I make $22. And that was from moi. Yes, it was, because I love American Apparel. On the last day of Well Sold Saturday, the 16th, I had five sales. I had three. So my first sale was this pair of Teaks. They were burgundy leather ballet flats. I've had these for a long, long time, mm -hmm. and they were probably the like worst condition ones I've ever had. But Ooh. they still sold for 50 and I get 40 so... I'll take it. That's so bad. Then I sold this pair of Aritzia Levi's light classic wash button fly jeans. And I have not had this good oh. of a Levi's sale in a hot minute. They sold for $89 and I get $68.52. And I think I figured out why our like Levi amazingness has kind of like simmered off. Target sells like Levi's Levi's now. Really? And they even sell like the good styles. I'm about to go to- They I'm have, to when I went, it was called like the baggy 80s dad jean. And I was like, hmm. this is supposed to be like the good Levi's that, that makes you can me only get at like Revolve. I'm already like suckered into buying crap at Target that I don't need. So like, I will yeah. walk out of there with a new pair of Levi's at some point. Like it's going to happen. I mean, of course, like the Levi's there are still not cheap, cheap. Like they're still Levi's prices. And I think the sales are only like 10 bucks off. Off, like 20 bucks off How maybe i think like 70 that's not bad yeah no it's for not apparently, it's for like cheaper, a good pair of jeans. but like it's not like dirt cheap so they yeah. still have value then i sold this pair of isabel morant oh, duerto God. suede leather western boots for 350 dollars and i get so 280 cute. these were doing good ever Rewear, mm. even on vestiaire Ve or no vestiaire that's how you say it vestiaire somebody tell me yeah it's vestiaire yeah oops i believe vestiaire but collective. anyways those were beautiful they were stunning oh, they were then stunning. i sold this vintage tribal western print fringe poncho sold for 15 and i get 12 and then my last sale on this one sold Saturday was this pair of I almost said vintage. This pair of Givenchy Go Vinci. 4G leather logo slide sandals sold for two hundred and fifty dollars, and I get two hundred. Those were absolutely beautiful. Oh, I so freaking love those things. Okay, my first on the sixteenth, if I can like get back to my there we go. I got back to my photos. Was this toy? Talent. This is on Poshmark. Talent. T A L E N T and eight little words. Just eight letters. <laughs> eight small, simple letters that come together that mean so much. <laughs> Torrid Floral Cottage Core Long Sleeve Blouse on Poshmark sold for $20. I make 16 on Poshmark. And then on Depop, I sold this Y2K Army Green 90s slip baby doll tank top sold for, I want to say 24 or 20 something. And I make 20 at 55. And then on eBay, on Phoebe, which I literally thought me and eBay were like a really angry set of divorcees where we would just like not. Never speak to each other ever again. Plot twist, she came back. Sam Edelman, Jackie 2, distressed Sherpa, genuine leather boots. These were actually really cute. They so were adorable. Cute. I got these like half off at a consignment store last year, like right around when they all do like the big flip from like winter to spring. So they were like 20 bucks. Yeah. Um, she paid full price of $90 and I make some money. <laughs> some I will make money. more than $20. I can guarantee you that. So my gross for this week, I would like to thank... I would like to thank Givenchy, Ferragamo, thank and chickens. And farm <laughs> animals. Ceramic. I was 2,163. My gross on posh was 284. And my new was 1,730 and 40 cents. That's funny. My net for Poshmark was 227.20, and my Depop total was 352.16, which is pretty good. Anyways... Yeah. That is all that we have for you guys today. I hope you guys <sighs> also had a fantastic sales week. As per usual, let us know how your sales week was. Are you seeing a spike for Christmas shopping? Are you seeing a lull because people are looking for new with tags? Yes. Let us know. What and do we got going on? Hopefully we can all have a good sales week next week. I'm not going to get my hopes too high. Because no. like holidays. I'm also like, I'm not going to do anything. I'm spending true. time with people I care about yeah. doing fun things. I'm not going to be living on the internet. The I next, hope you all do the same. Next week might be slower. But then the week after, I think it'll pick up because people got Christmas money. And well, people, like nobody does anything in between people Christmas People are more <laughs> willing to like buy themselves pre-owned clothes mm -hmm. and stuff than buy others. So once they get their Christmas money, they might go like buy that thing they've had like saved on posh for months yeah. or something like that we will see you way. next week at the bins yes. in like what two days three days on tuesday yeah and then we'll show you what we got on thursday goodbye goodbye